<laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Kakaki Social. This is a segment of the show where we spotlight the issues that shape conversations in the Nigerian social media. I am Ohimai Amaize. So what's trending this morning? What exactly did President Buhari say in Paris about uh, the dollar bribery scandal involving the governor of Kano State, Abdullah Umar Ganduji? There have been some kind of uh, uh, mixed uh, reports about uh, what he actually said. Uh, uh, Sahar reporters in the report uh, on Tuesday stated that uh, the president actually was concerned uh, about the issue, uh, but the president's handlers have uh, uh, asked the journalist uh, do not report uh, that part uh, where the president uh, raised concerns about uh, the dollar bribery scandal involving uh, the governor of uh, Kano State, Abdullah Ganduje. But let's take a look uh, at how the social media is reacting to that. Um, this uh, yesterday, we saw that report from Sarah Potter's presidential spokesman asked journalists to expunge Buhari's comments on Ganduje bribery video. Let's take a look at excerpts from this report. Let's go into the next slide and take a look at uh, the details of this report. Uh, according to that report by Sarah Reporter, as President Buhari was reacting to a remark by Kano students in France. The student was said to have lauded the achievements of the governor, especially on scholarship. However, according to Daily Nigerian, the president snapped and asked the student if he had watched the videos of the governor receiving bribing dollars. Quoting, that aside, haven't you watched the videos of the governor stuffing dollars under his gown? One of the participants quoted the president as asking rhetorically while demonstrating how the governor was stuffing the bundles of dollars inside his outfit. Let's take a look at the next part of the report, still quoting the president. Uh, we have the videos to we have we gave the videos to security agencies for vetting, and we will surely take action on the matter if he is found guilty. He stated. However, the president's response did not go down well with a member representing Nasra constituency Nasri Ali Ahmed and personal assistant to the president on broadcast media Shaban Sharada, who pleaded with journalists to remove the portion where the president spoke about Ganduje. This was our reporters filing this report on Tuesday. Uh, but did the president actually say this? Did the president actually? state that uh, they have forwarded the videos uh, to the security agencies uh, that has been disputed. Former presidential aide Renal Mokri tweets and said that, did you read the story planted by the dishonest Nigerian president that Buhari condemned Governor Ganduje in Paris? It was a lie. Aso Rock was embarrassed that Buhari, the so-called anti-corruption fighter, praised Gandola in Paris watch with your own eyes uh, this is a footage the only footage as at this point that we have from that uh, engagement in paris that shows uh, president barry speaking about this issue let's take a look at this video and some of the comments that have been on the social media over the past 48 hours so i compliment the governor for doing so much because he invited me i went to kano the good project started by concurso um, in education and healthcare, which is a lot of the uh, emphasis that should be made for ordinary Nigerians, the majority, the poor Nigerians. Uh, uh, Ganduje completed them. If it were another uh, person, he could have left them and showed them. This is the project he started. He diverted the balance of the money to go and, and uh, contest for presidency instead of completing it. But he completed you know the project for specification and Kano uh, ordinary people are uh, enjoying the benefit. I think that is very responsible of him. For that, uh, I think done very well. As of the last count, five videos have showed up in the Nigerian social media uh, showing the governor of Kano State, uh, Umar Ganduji, purportedly receiving uh, dollar notes uh, in a contract uh, bri bribery scandal, as alleged uh, by the Daily Nigerian that reported that uh, development. And up to this point, uh, the president has not made a statement. Rather, in Paris, as you can see in that video, he is giving accolades to the governor of Kano State uh, uh, for being a responsible governor and for completing the projects that he met. Uh, more Nigerians have been talking about this, chosen some to and said that Buhari did not find any Nigerian media worthy for an interview to address Ganduje issue. He spoke about it in Paris. He praised Ganduje and accused Kwan Kwasu of cor corruption. After the damning videos we all saw, the audacity. Why is Buhari keeping malice with Nigerians? Why? From Chosen Somto, we saw that one from Edward Shuka. So Buhari went to Paris to hail Ganduje and criticize Kwan Kwasu. If you still believe in his integrity, you are among the 42 million insane people he said that existed in Nigeria. And then from Kunle Oshobi on Facebook, uh, we saw this uh, poster. 
Buhari eulogizing the Ganduje after the dollar bribe scandal is a clear endorsement and encouragement of corruption. And then uh, we saw uh, another, uh, the Vanguard actually uh, reporting his own version of what happened in Paris. I said that Ganduje, very responsible man, Buhari. This also on Facebook uh, drew some comments. Let's take a look at some comments uh, on this Vanguard post on Facebook from Adeda Tuno Batusa posting on Facebook said that, yes, Ganduje is responsible even with the video. Just as you said, Abacha was not corrupt, yet your government is celebrating the Abacha loot recovered. The credibility issue of this government is swamped. From Adeda to Obatusa, there from Malik Nyeka, uh, Ganduje promised to deliver Kano stakes to PMB come 2019 elections, so his sins have washed away. Uh, these are the comments of Nigerians on social media. Joseph Anama tweet uh, posting on Facebook says, uh, that's how you wrote to defend Baba Chilawar until the truth about the whole thing became open even to the blind before he was reluctantly relieved of his position and replaced with his cousin. Your so-called integrity can't be sold to the majority again. Uh, Nigerians reacting to President Buhari's uh, uh, comment about uh, the governor of Kano State in Paris. Uh, and then we move on now to this very uh, heart-rending report that has uh, flooded into the Nigerian media. Uh, over 160,000 bags of rice donated by China to the Nigerian government for IDPs were left to rot in the custody of Nema. And uh, this has uh, generated a lot of uh, concern and talk in the Nigerian social media. Let's take a look at uh, this report uh, that has been trending over 160,000 bags of rice donated to IDPs by China rotting away in Nema stores. Uh, the cable fired this report. Uh, uh, let's take a look at excerpts from this report. Uh, and uh, this is uh, Mustafa Mehaja, the, the DG of Nema. According to that report by the cable, despite the widely reported cries of hunger by internally displaced persons, IDPs in the Northeast and acute malnutrition ravaging their children, 162,696 bags of rice donated by the Chinese government to the IDPs have been abandoned and left management agency in Nema. In June 2017, the Chinese government had donated and shipped a total of 6,779 metric tons of rice, which is 271 trucks and approximately 162,696 bags of rice into the country's seaport meant for distribution to IDPs in the Northeast as food assistance. Continuation of that report, uh, government agencies like the Ministry of Budget and National Planning, Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Finance and NEMA were tasked with the different responsibilities of receiving, clearing, storage, transportation and distribution of the consignments to the IDPs. But one year later, after the food items were cleared from the port, they have not reached their destinations. Even after another 161 million naira was said to have been spent on transportation, delivery and logistics. Uh, this is Vice President Oshibajo, who is the chairman of the board of NEMA. Uh, Nigerians have been talking about this issue from uh, Omoyo Maiman, we're tweeting a sexy boy, to a bag of rice presently costs 23,000 naira. The economic loss there is 3.83 billion, 680 million naira. Oh God, this is evil. Uh, they are quantifying the loss that uh, has been incurred for, from the 160 something thousand bags of rice there. And from Haderi B. B. Collard tweeting, uh, said, uh, This report shows the extreme wickedness of NEMA. Is NEMA at war with internally displaced people? Why punish them with this wicked and stupid inefficiency? Bad management. Who is in control? I tire self. From Collard Day, I think there. And from uh, Exalted, the uh, Fire tweeting said that can the international community just identify the people responsible for this sheer negligence and wastage and miss hunger ensure that they and their families to the third generation if possible are denied the opportunity to travel outside of nigeria for any reason at all nigerians really angry about uh, this uh, report uh, uh, real nc nc tweeting said that here we have over 160,000 bags of rice donated to idps by china rotting away in their masters why these people die by APC campaigns next year. Uh, these are uh, the tweets of Nigerians from Pius Adesa on me. We saw this tweet. Over 160,000 bags of rice donated to IDPs by China, rotting away in Nema stores, the cable. The Babalawu that is doing Nigeria died last year. No way to beg him, but we urgently need to beg his family. Stuff meant for the vulnerable in IDPs are either diverted and sold or left to rot. Uh, very tragic uh, uh, development. Shege Johnson uh, tweeted said, This is disastrous, disgraceful, pathetic, and unacceptable. Someone should be held accountable for this nonsense. 
heads should be rolling by now. What is our problem in this country? Wrong people in an important role. Uh, but this is Nigeria where heads really never roll for things uh, that are done. And then Phil Gene for good for God uh, tweeting said that what's the use of 10,000 Naira traders' money when a bag of rice worth 18,000 Naira is allowed to waste and people are dying of hunger. A lot is wrong with our people. Uh, clearly, you can see the outrage uh, that is in the social media amongst Nigerians after that report. 160, over 160,000 bags of rice. And of course, uh, from Simple Records, we saw this tweet as well. Chai, where are we even headed as a country, Seth? You can imagine 160,000 bags of rice. What are they doing in Nema stores for God's sake? God, please help Nigeria. Yes, yes, yes. A prayer we almost pray. Uh, God, please help Nigeria. And uh, still on the NEMA issue, uh, Vice President Toshiba Jawali was acting president, was said to have approved 5.8 billion naira to NEMA for the Northeast Intervention Fund uh, without legislative approval. Uh, but uh, his spokesperson yesterday came on Twitter uh, to issue a statement saying, this is what Lalua Konde, uh, spokesperson to the VP, said, regarding some media reports claiming VP has questions to answer on the Emergency Food Intervention Fund for the Northeast the main question is did he as acting president have powers to approve the emergency fund answer is yes uh, and then he continued in another tweet uh, ignore the distractions being generated by misleading reports and false stories this vice president is a well-known stickler for the rule of law and he is a diligent advocate of constitutional order and good governance just watch him closely the facts are easy to adjudge uh, but uh, the chairman of that committee has disputed that uh, uh, Akai Bube tweeting yesterday said uh, just watch house committee chairman on Nema funds live now on China's TV politics today he said clearly that Prof Oshibanjo has a case to answer that Oshibanjo released 5.8 billion naira without appropriation no procurement process no bidding just gathered companies and paid them Kai that was from Akai Bubi and also from Shola Kuti. We saw this tweet. Uh, Oshibanjo has a case to answer because funds that were released for NEMA were sourced from euro bonds approved by NAS for other projects, which is violation of the Appropriation Act. Lawyer, we know Sabi Law. Now waiting. That's from Shola Kuti. And then now we move on to this uh, issue that was trending on uh, Instagram yesterday. A professor of law at the uh, Ambrosali University, Epoma, in Edo State, has said that he doesn't want to be part of the ASU strike. He has actually threatened to sue ASU for $10 billion if they disrupt his classes. Let's take a look. Uh, I'm not a member. I'll sue ASU for $10 billion if they disrupt my lecture. AAU professor is actually the dean of the faculty of law in that university. Let's take a look at that video and some of the comments that followed. And if they come any other time to disrupt it, I will sue them. I will take them to court. And if it happens, I will be claiming not less than 10 billion from them. Let them know. I am not their member. If they want to, if they want to disrupt their members, fine. But me, I am not a member of ASU. Yes, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you very sir. much, Prof. But finally, Prof, what is your complete name and uh, what faculty do you belong to? Professor Sunday Adeko, Dean of Faculty of Law, Abu Salim University. Oh. Okay, uh, I know they say no, they carry last. And they're from veteran number of posting on Insta blog Niger. Right from the time, everyone in that university is so stubborn. From VC to security men and women, even to bike men and shuttle drivers. Let us not even mention cleaners because those ones are assistant HOD. Hashtag proud to be ex student though. From Miss Flora Benjamin, one lecturer that doesn't like failing students. The worst he can do is give you a D so you don't rewrite the course. Uh, the lecturer apparently has a history. Uh, he's quite famous in AAU with uh, the students. And uh, let's take a look at more comments from Ed Osime. Progressive schools are leaving ASU. Big ups to Unilorin and Delsu. Unibem, thumbs down. From Wheezy Oria I4, one of the best lecturers in AAU. One man squad. This man single handedly dealt with SAS. From Oria Kue Tunnel. Ha 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 ha. Now this type of lecturer go select class for 6 a.m. when in the fall heavily. So fire. <laughs> okay, one video that's uh, something that has been trending in Nigerian social media. Uh, is this the most expensive house in Nigeria? Uh, the chairman of Orange Drugs has uh, unveiled a new house uh, in Lagos, in Ikoyi, Lagos. And uh, footages of that uh, mansion have filtered into the social media and have generated a lot of talk. Uh, uh, Nigeria's most expensive house unveiled, this is from Tatafo Niger on Instagram. This could not be called a house, it should be called a villa. Heard it is owned by the owner of Orange Drugs. Watch and be inspired. Don't get jealous or envious. It's not blood money. Work hard, work smart, believe God. If you don't make it in this life, at least you tried. You'll do better next time. Let's take a look at the video.
Okay, and also from uh, this Aninom so also share the video on uh, Twitter. See how interior God, my Igbo people ain't here to joke. Uh, we'll quickly take a look at uh, that footage and then we'll take a look at the comments. Imagine after the CEO of Nigeria from uh, Auntie Naira, Chineke, Ihukwa. Who knows how heaven will look like? See such beauty on earth. Guessing one Anambra man or Overy man go do this kind of thing, especially in the Anambra. And Okwa Kando Katinye, Nadat Chandeliao, Choi, Egon Togi. Uh, <laughs> from Chukudi, 1985. I was at this event yesterday. This house was built with over 3 billion naira. It belongs to Chief Tony Ezenna, the owner of Orange Drugs. Man even bought 2019 Phantom to launch the castle. Igbo traders are not your mate. And from Harry Obi, the house is owned by multi billionaire Satoni Ezena, the CEO of Orange Drugs, makers of Delta Soap. He is also one of the few papal knights in Nigeria, knights ordained by the Pope. In the video, you briefly see a large picture of him with the Pope on the wall. Money is good. Yes, money is good. It's a moyo. I really don't want to comment before Nigerians come for my head with a poverty mentality job. But this structure ain't just too ideal for a home. It's more like an edifice where pupils visit to learn about their hero's past. And from Igwe official, Tony Ezena, owner of Orange Drugs, has been hustling for years. He built a house set to cost 3 billion naira in Bordelon, Lagos. Some of you are here saying it's vanity. He should have done something else. Do, a, a, do away with this smelling poverty mindset, I beg. <laughs> okay, let's uh, wrap it up this morning on this note on Kakaki Social. We'll return at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning with more about Kakaki Social. Uh, follow the conversation on our social Twitter Instagram. I am Ohimaya Maize, handing you over back now to Otive Anshala.